it jumps rather to the end of your career, but you're kind of famous. There's been articles in The Guardian and Observer about the end of your career, which was when CQC decided that your practice, which two years earlier had been recommended as a great practice, um, praised by its patients and considered to be a, a beacon of kind of humanity in general practice, was closed down as in some way not compliant with CQC. Mm -hmm. It's a painful thing to talk about, David, but could you talk to, pe talk to me about what happened and why you think it happened? Uh, well, what happened was um, that there was an inspection and I was found to be severely, procedurally non-compliant. In other words, I had not kept up with the small print of the regulations. And even worse, I argued with the inspector saying that I thought that for my practice, which was small and where both staff and patients were very well known, that that degree of micro-regulation was both unnecessary and actually obstructive for personal, personal engagement with patients that one would spend more and more time doing, uh, attending to compliance to regulations rather than being involved in consultations. Um, and I think the fact that I was both uh, non-compliant and argued about it um, meant that the new regime, because there had been a new uh, uh, system of regulating and inspecting um, GPs in, the, in that two years meant that I could not be tolerated by the current system. So an example was that I didn't have regular fire drills that were uh, uh, proceduralized and uh, documented um, and that I hadn't had an inspection of my fire door. And I said, look, it's a tiny little practice we don't need that here. That's quite different from a great big practice where nobody knows anybody. Only four rooms in the place, they're all next to one another, and the, both the fire door and the, the main door were quite clearly uh, designated. Um, but, but nevertheless, when they came to score it up, they said, well, you're non-compliant with fire regulations, for example. Um, another one was that I had not um, done criminal records checks on my receptionists who had been known to me personally and to many of the patients for many, many years. And they had not done criminal records checks on me. So again, that was regarded as being dangerous. So they concluded that in those two years, um, I could now be deemed to be reckless, feckless, rather uncaring, psychopathic even. So there we have it. So it. It was about the density of regulations and the rigidity with which those regulations had to be executed. That had um, increased massively in those two years. That's what happened. And I argued about it. 